Hello everyone, Jonas here from Jonas Tries Anything. Today I'm going to be unboxing and give my initial impressions on a very nice gun, um, in my opinion. Again, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Um, this is the Taurus G3C, or third generation compact. Um, got it off from Sportsman's Warehouse. Um, MSRP was about $285. Um, so, pretty good deal. Um, see here, we still have the red wrapping there. Means this gun is brand new. Alright, let's do the unboxing here. What do we have? Uh, we have this $30 coupon um, for the laser. And. Ten dollars for this holster. Okay, and we have a manual here. So this works for G3 and G3C or compact. Um, pretty good. They have really nice um, images here. Pretty clear. Um, good English. So that's a plus. Um, sometimes we get guns that the English is pretty awesome. <laughs> um, so makes people confuse what they're talking about. So yeah, pretty good. Um, lifetime warranty here, a limited lifetime warranty. So um, I need to activate that. We have a gun lock. Very, very important for gun safety. Especially if you have kids in the house use that one if you don't have a safe if you have a safe still use it um, kids might be able to go into the safe right um, so it's just best to practice proper gun safety all right now with the gun itself came with three um, 12 round magazines right here i like this yellow tab right here makes it very visible Okay, springiness is pretty good. Um, we have the screws here. Um, if you want to clean the gun, um, take that out, and this will th this entire assembly will just pop out. All right, now to the gun. All right, initial impressions here. The weight is very very nice in the hand. Right here put the box away right here I'm gonna remove this tab the sticker right here okay I will use a knife hopefully I don't cut myself that would be embarrassing there we go all right I need to get some alcohol and clean this um, sticker gunk here but other than that Everything is good. All right, put the knife away. All right, initial impression. The gun is really nice. The trigger is really soft. As compared to my Gerson regard. Okay. Okay. Side by side. I need to do more work on doing this. This one, pretty soft. Again, hammer fired, striker fired. Okay. Um, size comparison, um, yeah, pretty compact. See that one? <laughs> this is even with the magazine. Okay, without the magazine, it's pretty small <laughs> that is really really compact I like it um, I bought this gun for my wife um, because she's uh, a petite uh, woman um, so I, I tried letting her shoot this gun she said it was too heavy for her too big I said that's what she said so uh, for this gun, she tried it, she loved it, um, fits right 
on her small hands. So uh, women out there or smaller people like my wife that's looking for a concealed carry, um, this is a good one. All right, let's do the weighing scale here. Empty magazine here. Let's see how much it weighs. 1.63 pounds. Okay. You need 22.3 ounces. Okay, 632 ml, 633 grams, 0.632 kilograms. All right, how about with bullets? Um, depending on the type of bullet you're using, the bullet weights might be different. As you can see here, aluminum case. We know aluminum is lighter than brass. So if you have an aluminum case casing, it would be lighter in my opinion if you have a brass case which is heavier it might be heavier okay let's try this one okay it added 0.3 there let's try the brass yep the first 0 0.1 um, pounds Okay, so this one takes 12 rounds plus one. So how much the gun would weigh if we put 12 bullets or 13 bullets in there? Okay, how many do we have? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and one more. So you could do 12 plus 1, so 1 in the chamber. And um, if you don't want to do that, then you just put it in a magazine, don't chamber anything. And just without the third, uh, the 13th bullet, this would be 1.11 um, pounds. With the 13th bullet, that would be 1.11.7. So, yeah, pretty light for a small gun. Um, okay, let's do the handgun here. Again, compact here. We have the safety mechanism here in the trigger. So if your gun drops and the trigger goes back, See this little tab right here, right there that's sticking out? It's going to hit this piece right here and that would cause the trigger to not go all the way back. So that's one safety mechanism. To pull the trigger, this small moving part here, see if I push this, that tab disappears and that clears the way for the trigger to go back. So that's really a plus. I like it. Okay. The clicking mechanism there is really good. Um, again, no bullets there. It's a bit still stiff because it's still brand new. I'm going to oil this up. Again, I unlike my Gerson Regard that came dripping with oil, this was pretty dry when it came. So. I need to oil this up to loosen it a little bit. All right, right here we have our um, last last bullet hold mechanism here. So if there's no more bullet and you fired, this will lock. Um, to take this, uh, to put this back, you just slide the slide forward and push this down like that. Okay, slide it backward and push this down. Safety, it's not ambidextrous. This side is pretty smooth. All the mechanisms to take um, the safety on. I'll put the safety on, it's on this side. Safety on, trigger does not go back. Slide does not go back. Pretty good. Okay, from here, slide it up. 
okay just the side of my thumb here and the bottom boom just go up down up down pretty smooth all right to take this apart we have to hold both of these tabs right here okay push it down slide it a little bit backwards like one eighth very small and then once that's done you pull the trigger and then the slide just comes out okay so right here is our gun here's the um, trigger mechanism this is polymer so it's pretty light this is steel and I believe this is stainless steel um, the barrel is so pretty good pretty good um, weight there okay um, let's see here sights we have um, this flat rear sights here nothing special it has some lines grooves running uh, perpendicular to the slide here pretty good texture um, we have this slide um, here with the barrel and our front side is just a white white side right there okay take the gun apart push this down the recoil spring is not as springy as the jerk Gerson regard so pretty surprising right here's the barrel right here our bore looks like there's something in there uh, maybe like piece of uh, piece of dust or something <clears throat> I need to just clean it later I'm gonna push this one there and I'm just gonna push that through see if that removes that thing oh yes it was just a speckle of dust in there pretty clean um, they had uh, they actually put some oil in here but not as oily as my Gerson when it came okay so how to assemble or reassemble this gun very simple first we put the barrel slide that there put this one the fat one goes in here okay fat one goes in there and see this slot right here that's where the, this fat part will this back plate here will sit right here okay all right to assemble the gun there's the grooves here uh -oh. I'm gonna go ahead and put some oil again this is um, motor oil if you have not seen my Gerson regard cleanup and oil maintenance go ahead and click the description below the link will be there okay I'm just oiling the part where it hits um, makes contact with the the frame so I'm gonna put some oil here and then oil here and see if this makes the the movement better the oil here as well where the springs are all right with the gun oiled up I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble this again there's grooves right there and it matches the grooves over here okay let's see if I could show this in the camera the best I can here okay it just slides oh that is way much better slide action there mm. okay, I'm just working the I'm just working this oil in there good oh way much better way way much better <laughs> Again, this is me experimenting with 
different things to keep the gun uh, functioning great. Um, safety is good. Again, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Motor oil. Trigger functions good. Okay, how about putting the bullets? Putting the bullets pretty easy. I'm doing this manually, but if you have a automatic gun loader, magazine loader, you could do that. I need to buy one, but again, budget. <laughs> So yeah, if you guys have not done so, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Um, subscribe to my channel. I'm uh, making videos similar to this and other things um, that would really help me out. And hit that bell icon so you get notified of um, the new videos that I will be um, pushing or releasing soon. All right. This is pretty brand new, um, check out this magazine. So the 12 bullet, it's normal, but it's a bit difficult to put in. This is the last one. Okay, put it tap. Okay, push this one in here. Yep. Yeah. The bullet, oh, this, the magazine just slides out. Okay, safety off. I'm gonna put one in the chamber. Interesting. There you go. Test out how it goes out. Finger off the trigger. <laughs> safety first. Okay. All right. I'm testing this bullet. It's having a hard time chambering it. Maybe because it gets caught on the hollow point or maybe I'm just not sitting it correctly okay okay there we go okay maybe it was just that bullet there we go all right so interesting so I had to let it go for this type of bullet to go in there. Alright, let's try the aluminum case. Bullets here. See how well it goes in. Again, I'm just putting a couple bullets here for testing. Brand new magazine. Spring is still pretty hard. So the um, rounded bullet like this is easier to chamber than the hollow point. Still have to find out why. Okay. Pretty good injection there. Let's try the hollow point. Okay. Okay. So maybe it just needed some. There you go. There we go. Maybe it just needed some couple cycles. Oh, it's chambering good now. There we go. Okay, ejects just fine. One more for safety measure. Yeah. All right. So it was just user error earlier. Um, I did not sit the bullet all the way to the back of the magazine and that caused the bullet to um, tilt in an angle that's, that was not hitting that right part there. Now that I've set it back really good, chamber's just fine, inject's just fine. All right, so that's it my friends. Hope you find this video helpful. Um, 
initial impressions for me this is really really nice gun um, right here you get great texture on the sides the front and the back and it just feels really good really good in the hands um, I also was curious if this will actually fit my Gerson Regards concealed carry holster I think it will and it does okay let's see if it falls nope it doesn't fall um, if, if I want to use this holster for this gun I will just need to tighten the screws to increase the tension but again right there okay, it's not that's not really move I'm gonna make another video of me concealed carrying using this holster and see how um, how much it protrudes out from my body or if it's very conceal concealable um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you that to you guys all right this is the unboxing and the review initial review of this gun I will take this to the range with, with my wife and have her test it out see what her impressions are and we'll post it for you guys to enjoy. All right, thank you for watching. Peace out.